Here is a new version of the print pack. The print pack is a collection of nodes that allow you to print values from the Bifrost graph. The text is created as strands and can be seen in 3D in Maya. This is very fast and really easy to use. In the last version I introduced a new print node, an all-in-one function that can output single values, but also a table with arrays. New is the possibility to output an object dump, as well as a table with all object properties. These four panels must of course be arranged somehow, and this task is performed by a new function called AutoArrange. Here you can see the default option Quadrants, which automatically places the four panels Values, Arrays, Object Dump and Object Properties in one quadrant each. Other options for automatic arrangement are along X, along Y and Auto, all of which have further options for placement around the origin, such as above or below the origin or in one of the four quadrants. An additional manual transformation is of course also possible. Here's a short tutorial on how to use the print pack. In a complex graph, it is difficult to monitor the flow of data to confirm the correctness of the programming. So-called watch points on the connections display scalar values, but even for simple arrays, only the number of elements is displayed. And the watch points only work if the corresponding connection is processed in the program flow. This means far too often you don't see anything. In these cases, a print node provides a solution. Scalar values are connected to the inputs in the values section and the result can be seen immediately in the Maya viewport. The same is done with arrays, which are then displayed as a table. The display of these values is of course live, which means that all values are refreshed immediately as soon as they change. Once you have finished inspecting the values, you can of course delete the print node, but you can also simply mute it by switching off the terminal switch until you need the print node again later. If you use several print nodes at different points on the Bifrost graph, the problem with the placement of the panels reappears. In this case, I recommend changing the arrangement of the panels to along X or along Y and assigning a quadrant to each individual print node. So far, this has proven to be easier than moving the panels around manually. You will notice that you cannot use a print node in a loop like for each iterate and do while. This is due to the use of terminals as the output point of the print node. To avoid this restriction, you can, for example, output scalar values as an array from the loop and then display them outside the loop in a table. To monitor the creation and modification of arrays in a loop, you can output the arrays, which then become two-dimensional arrays, and these two-dimensional arrays can also be displayed in the table for arrays. If the four ports for displaying scalar values and short arrays in the print node are not sufficient, the print-to-string node can be used to extend the slots as required. Print to string has 16 slots and the output string is simply plugged into the input strings connector in the value section. Installation. The download links for the print pack can be found in the description of this video. The zip file contains a folder called print pack v2.9. This entire folder must be copied into the Bifrost compounds folder. In the supported operating systems, this folder is located from the user's home directory in Autodesk Bifrost Compounds. If the folder does not exist, please create it. Remove all old versions of the print pack. After restarting Maya, the print pack will be available. 